my colleague and good friend, Sri Rajan Goyji, my good colleague and very old friend who was also with me in the parliament, former Revenue Minister of Odisha, and I'm sure will be Minister again very soon. Sri Ramon General Umesh Ji, President of ARDF, Sanjit Kumar Ji, President of Session Mission, Gobi Mohan Ji, General Secretary Mr. Piti Das, and all my railway family members. I did not say much about it because my good friend Rajan Kohan is already there. And we will guide you. We will also exactly inform you about the steps taken by us and what we need to do together to ensure safety of all the rail passengers. Safety is a function of proper functioning of the entire operation. All the operation of railway functions as they are supposed to be. I don't think safety can ever be compromised. The challenge comes in because we take certain things for granted. We think, you know, so many months have passed, so many days have passed, things are going properly. I can even sign blindly. So we prepare a system that then somebody signs that they have inspected it, somebody else signs it, then third person signs it. So the first person signs it, second person believes that he has signed it, why should I worry? So he signs it blindly. The third person also signs it. And we take things for granted. So, paying attention to established procedure is one of the prerequisites for ensuring safe operation of the railway. Unfortunately, we are taking certain things for granted, and that is the, all the reason why we are facing certain challenges. So, all these new initiatives that the employment are taken to organize a conference of this kind is welcome. But you must also ensure that conference is the beginning, not the ending itself. You can keep organizing conferences. But unless those people who work on safety do their job properly, apply themselves diligently, and do not take things for granted, will not get the desired results. So first and foremost, application of mind, sincerely working on the task aside, has to be done and therefore all operations of the railway which are carried out as they are supposed to be the safety will always be ensured and therefore we must do that number two training of you because mind, human mind tends to take things for granted so constant training is very important not just one time training constant training and that is what we all must do together the general manager is there, his colleagues are there as well as the employees are there we must constantly organize programs for training. Then of course the manuals, the manuals will be important. What is written in the manual has to be read, what is read has to be implemented, what is implemented has to be seen by somebody else, what is seen by somebody else also has to be taken for granted. So right from general manager, the responsibility of the general manager himself, the DRM, all the people working with them, as well as each and every employee of the organization. Unless they make sure that they do the job, and the supervisor role that the general manager, DRM and his colleagues have to play is played properly, we will be able to ensure a smooth function. So that's why this is a very important thing. Training is important, manuals are important. Revisiting the manuals. If suppose somebody has found out that the manual itself does not cover all the areas that are necessary to ensure safety, we must change the manual. And that job cannot be done by MPL employee, that has to be done by the top management. And therefore, there is a safety related responsibilities every zone and division, they must ensure that it is also in that. Then another important aspect is technology. Therefore, we have decided now to use a lot of technology, whether it is signaling, whether it is understanding why the tax, at what time the tax will track, because tax will get definitely track, that is the life of the track. But timely understanding the tax is track can take corrective action. So therefore we are now already directed and directed the railway board to ensure that 
as much technology as possible should be used in detection of drugs, correction of those machines, or correction of those tests through machines. And therefore, technology will take you. Similarly, tag detection, even tag laying more a product that, that is also ensure safety because if properly tags are there, you have put everything in proper shape, the last sleepers, this will also be ensured. Currently, it is a running stop. In fact, the development happened because of the small lack of synchronization between track and the rolling stop. Now, I already ordered that 40,000 rolling stops will be required. We already stopped manufacturing ICF coaches and we will move towards LLB and even the higher technology coaches. The coupling are very important and therefore we will make sure that we work on those issues. So while we are doing this, not only safety will be ensured, but we are also creating that interiors of coaches also should be completely revamped. And that's what we are doing. In fact, I am constantly monitoring. In fact, after two days again, I am going to monitor it and make sure that in the next five years time, we will complete this. The capacity of railways to manufacture about 8,000 coaches. And now we are going to do 40,000 in each five years. You can imagine the magnitude of it. But then almost all the coaches will be safety compliant, but also much better aesthetically from within the coaches. We have created for the first time in railway history a safety fund of 1 lakh crore. We of course have to ensure that this money is not just spent, but spent in a manner that gives a lot of value addition. Because there is nothing like safety fund which can be spent on your safety operation. This will revamp the entire infrastructure of railway. So 1 lakh crore is not a small amount and therefore I am also ensuring that money is spent in a right manner. So I am already consulting a lot of experts in the field, within country, outside India, and ensuring that this money is spent in a proper manner to give us not only desired results for safety, but we will revamp the entire rail infrastructure. So while we work on all this, it is also important the human part of it. The human errors are not a significant contributor to the rail safety related issues. And therefore, human errors must be avoided and that can be avoided as I said in the beginning with proper application of mind, proper training, constantly revisiting your manuals and supervisor will not play properly because everybody says, you know, the supervisor is going to say so many people say, I will also sign. So he thinks he is employed to sign and not to assign himself the job that is given to him. Therefore, I think all of this has to be done properly. Organizing such kind of <laughs> safety related signals is a welcome idea. But cannot be the only thing that can be done because safety will not be ensured in this conference hall. Safety has to be you learn something here, get motivated in the conference hall, to use it on the tracks in your day-to-day -day operation. That's I think you will get adequately motivated, but we'll definitely not forget your important primary responsibility and task of ensuring safety of the entire operation, which is really the responsibility of all the people who work in the railways. Remember, Mr. Arjun Goyen cannot ensure safety of all tracks, not the minister can do. We are done adequately, more than adequately, to ensure that safety related issues are properly addressed. This year there is a, for tag you know, there is a 10,000 crore allocation. Last year we have 6,000 crores. So in the course of last two years, you can imagine the amount of money that we have given for this. We are already buying high quality products and that of course is a responsibility. We can say we have given direction, but then ultimately people below us should not ruin the system. And therefore it is a completely responsibility of the those who run the operation to ensure safety of health. The ministers, Prime Minister, the Government of India, the political leadership has given complete ideas, money, powers delegated it to the people. So we will be holding responsibilities. Anybody not doing the job, however senior he may be, however junior he may be, you have to face the consequences because we cannot play the lives of the people who travel by the railway. So organizing seminar gives you additional responsibility to ensure that what you learn is taken forward.
Otherwise, it should not be seen to be only an opportunity to have a photo opportunity, publication opportunity, but something which must be done in a very serious manner. So I think we learn from this seminar, and my good friend Mamun Samal will ensure that he will always be kept by his colleagues, he will follow it to the logical conclusion. I think the manager must also take responsibility to find out how far what you have learned is applied and what is the new thing you are going to learn. You must learn, you already learned, apply it and as I said very clearly, the running operation of the railways is a responsibility of the railway board, of the general managers, of the DRM and all the people over there. If me and Rajan Goen can run the railways, it would be very good to people can run the entire railway operation. Therefore, we must ensure that those who work in the railways full time, their job is to ensure the safe operation. And that what I am sure we do. So all the best to you. And I am sure my good friend Rajan Goen will guide you about what you should learn in the future. And you will please follow his advice, his direction, his guidance, and make sure that we implemented in not just later but in the spirit. Thank you very much. Yeah.